Hello and welcome back to the series on JavaScript for testers. I'm Bushra and in this video we are going to explore something that you'll almost always come across when working on JavaScript based testing tool and that is NPM. NPM is Node Package Manager. It basically lets you share your JavaScript code and lets other people reuse that code. These pieces of code are called packages. Package Manager isn't a new concept introduced by JavaScript. We have package managers in almost all the languages. Java has it, Python has it, Ruby does, and so does PHP. The whole purpose of package manager is to make sure you don't have to reinvent the wheel each time you start a new project. Reuse what is available. In fact, JavaScript has a lot of package managers. The two most popular are NPM and YARN. NPM is the default package manager for JavaScript. NPM consists of three things. NPM is basically a registry or a repository of open source JavaScript projects. And in fact, it is the world's largest software repository having more than a million packages. It also provides a command line utility for publishing and installing packages and for managing versions and dependencies. And then you also have a website where you can search for these packages. Sounds wonderful, isn't it? It gives you access to over a million packages that are open sourced. These packages could be test framework, an add-on like Cucumber or better reporting features and so many more things. It's a whole new world out there for you to explore. Okay, so how do we get started? We need to install NPM. But the good thing is we have already installed it. Well, it came bundled with Node.js and when we installed Node.js, NPM got installed as well. To verify that we have it, go to your terminal and type npm-v and if you see a version, that means that NPM is installed and if not, then you need to install Node.js. And if your installed NPM version is not latest, you can update it using this command. Now once we have npm installed on our machines, we can install any package from the repository. But where do we search for the required packages? This is the website. You can search for any package that has been published on npm here. Okay. So now, how do we install and use them in our projects? Well, using this simple command, the package will be installed in your project and will be available for use. But how do we keep track of all the packages our project depends on? Well, that's what package.json is used for. We'll be learning about package.json in our next video. So, see you there.